Tim McKenneth live this evening in studio. Many thanks. New tonight, the Alamance Burlington school system continues to address mold issues at several of its elementary school campuses. This week, the Board of Ed will get together to talk about what happens next. Kara Peters gives us an update on where things stand tonight in Burlington. Well, we have previously reported on the mold found at Andrews Elementary School and the efforts to have the school safe and ready for both faculty and students. And now school officials say they're faced with a similar issue, and that's mold here at Newland Elementary. A race against the clock to have two elementary schools ready to go by August 28th. According to Public Information Officer Les Atkins, about 60 contractors have been working to have Andrews Elementary cleaned after spotting mold in the building. Now school officials say their attention is on Newland Elementary. We feel really good about Andrews at this point. At this point, we're looking at contingency plans for Newland only, which we would relocate the students and staff from this school to another ABSS facility, and we are working on those, on those plans right now. The mold found at Andrews was due to issues with the HVAC system and systems not being properly regulated at Newland Elementary. There's mold inside of buildings, mold problems inside of buildings that happen all the time. And, you know, it's just something that if it's dealt with in the, in the right way is completely and totally safe. So you have high humidity, which produces condensation, and then you have a recipe for mold. The repairs needed at both schools costing the district a price tag well over a million dollars. Atkins says discussions are taking place now to be more proactive if mold is a problem once school starts. Basically involve our facilities team going to all of our schools on a weekly basis when we have these high humidity, uh, this high humidity that we've been dealing with and then trying to balance our air uh, systems within our schools. Sending this message to parents and staff. We are going to take care of this issue and make sure that our air quality is good for our students and staff before they enter these buildings, uh, before we even open them up. Uh, and we want to ensure that families know that we're going to take care of that. And the school district's Board of Education plans to hold a special called meeting Wednesday to approve a contract to begin cleaning up mold here at Newland. It is unclear right now where that secondary location will be if students and faculty have to reroute before the school year begins. In Burlington, I'm Kara Peters, WXII 12 News.